What up, y'all? I'm Rajay. And I'm Shy, and welcome to the RXS Podcast. The podcast where we provide information, motivation, and inspiration to the music community. I said that wrong, but it's good enough. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> so what are we talking about today? Songwriting. One of my favorite things. Yeah. Um, I talked to a legendary gospel songwriter. Let's go. Um, it was an honor to do so. And um, it was an amazing conversation. And it was inspiring for me personally mm. as a songwriter. So mm. I think this would be a good one. All right, y'all enjoy. Peace. Peace. What up, y'all? I'm in here with the amazing extremely talented luther barnes how you doing man what's up roger god bless you man <laughs> hey it's good to see yes, you yes sir good to be here how you been i've been doing good yeah god's been good man um years gotten off to a fast start and i'm um, busy and uh that's wonderful uh, yes sir in fairly good health and i might look a mess but i feel all right <laughs> <laughs> so look man i want to um it's an honor to have you here thank you sir um thank you for being here Mm -hmm. um you're one of my biggest inspirations oh thank you Doc. especially when it comes to like songwriting and stuff yes, like sir. that yes sir so i want to do what i always do with all the guests and i want to take you all the way back to the beginning okay <laughs> <laughs> where was luther Barnes born uh, i was born uh, uh right here in nash county north carolina rocky mount area little town called eastenburg okay yeah that's where i was born yeah. okay um how 19 many 1954 Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you um? Do you have back. any siblings? I have uh, 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 two brothers that are living, mm -hmm. uh, Melvin and Tony. Yeah, I have one brother that passed away about five years ago, Samuel. Yeah. yeah. So, what was it like back then? A uh, little rough, man. A little, little rough uh, around the edges, but we had a happy family, mm -hmm. and we didn't know how poor we were. Everybody was living like that, you know, yeah. uh, house with uh, no bathrooms, no running water, that kind of thing. But a uh, lot of love, a lot of church, you know, and uh, we got through it, and I learned a little bit about singing, a raw talent, raw talent. Got a chance to go to college and um, study music. Mm -hmm. So go back. Yeah. When you first when you first discovered that you can sing, how old were you? I was about uh, I was I was about nine years old, I think, when I first saw the discover. In fact, I didn't discover it; it was just natural to me. Okay. But my um, third grade teacher mm -hmm. uh, saw that I could sing a little bit, and uh, she started keeping me in from recess. <laughs> Rest of the kids out there playing, I'm at the piano. Singing, I like. What's up with this? I don't want to be out here with, with the rest of the kids. I mean, we were just, yeah. you know, I, I thought it was like sissy, you know. You know got me singing at the piano, you know. When she saw my talent and sort yeah. of got me going, and now I can look back and say, "Thank you, I, I thank yeah. you for doing that." Yeah. So, so once she would bring you in, did you ever get to the place where you like, okay, I actually like it now? Not then. <laughs> <laughs> not not then. I guess I was in high school before I really saw that uh, I really had something that I could uh, go into and really learn and fine tune it as I was doing a lot of solos and a lot of little um, talent shows. Yes, sir. Things like that, you know. I said, hmm, people like what I do. And so I'm back and uh, make some money doing this. Okay, yeah, so yeah. high school, <clears throat> you started doing more stuff. Yeah. You start to discover that people like it. Did you already know what... How did you come to the realization that it could be a career path? Well, my father was singing uh, and doing some great things, and I, I was also um, a student of people like um, um, the Temptations, and yes, sir. People of that era, yes, sir. And I could mock them, and I could sing. And I, could, I could sing like Stevie Wonder, you know. <laughs> you know, hey, I can get some of this too. Yeah, and and I was being, I was, I was look being a cotton field and and tobacco field. Working, mm -hmm. looking up at the at sky, I said, Lord, there's got to be something better than this. So I had an inspiration. I, I just got to do something. And all I had was my little singing talent. Yeah. And so um, I began to dream. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, you know, I tell kids always now, I always dream. You know, you never know. Your dreams might come true. Uh, I would write down my little play schedule wow. and during my lunch hour where I'll be singing at. You know, I'll be in New York today. Wow. Uh, L.A. tomorrow, I'll be in Florida, then I jump up yeah. to D.C., all the big cities I knew, you know. Yeah. And I would plot that out, write it down. 
you know, and, and I dream it, yeah. never never knowing that it would actually come true. Like, that's what I do today is travel to. Um, but I zigzag just like I wrote it down. I didn't know the, <laughs> I didn't know to write it in the right, you know, like like uh, 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 Richmond, <laughs> D.C., Philadelphia. You know, I didn't know how to, I didn't do it like that. I, I zigzag all across everywhere, and that's the way I travel now. <laughs> So, I, I didn't have no sense to write this seat is close together. <laughs> so look, I want to ask you. So I want, I want tell 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 the people who don't know. I'm pretty sure they do. But for the people who don't know, tell us a little bit about your father. My father was a great man, uh, Bishop F. C. Barnes. Um, wow, uh, he's the writer of this great song, "Rough Side of the Mountain." Yes, sir, and many other songs. And he's a great was a great pastor. Mm-hmm. Pastored our church, Redbud uh, Holy Church, for 52 years. And so he was the only pastor that I've known for all my life and uh, taught me a lot of things and gave me um, the avenue. Uh, all, I, all I had to do was mention his name. <laughs> like, hey, you come on in here. Oh, you must know how to. Okay, Reverend Barnes? Okay. I, I, not Reverend Barnes, Reverend Barnes' son. But yeah, okay, I know you got to come on to come yeah. here. Hey, come on and be on my program. Yeah, so. Uh, he opened a lot of doors for me. And uh, and then after that, he gave me the privilege to go out and sing. You know, a lot of pastors will, will shut you down. You know, you, you know, you can sing, but you got to be at my church every Sunday. Yes. Be, you know, hey, I need you here. I don't need y'all out <laughs> on the road. And uh, he didn't shut me down. He let me go out and exercise my gift, write songs. Uh, bring songs to uh, every Sunday, a new song. Like, where that come from? I don't know about that one now. I'll be on rope something and <laughs> sing it in the church service, you know. And that's, and, that's, and, that's. And, and some of them were good. And some of them were like, well, like, you need to shut that one down, doc. That ain't happening right there. <laughs> so, so the fact that he gave you a place right. to hone your craft is. That's right. Very important. Crazy. Yeah. So yeah. in high school, you're singing. Of course, you're watching your dad. So was he doing stuff on the road and then coming home to pass? He was. He was in revival every week. And uh, every Friday, we would go with him wherever he, he was in revival mm-hmm. and sing. And, um, you know, so we got to be a little famous, you know, around the area. <laughs> Goldsboro and, you know, Wilmington. You know, we thought we were going somewhere. You know, like, Local sensation. Oh, man, Raleigh. Oh, yeah. We, we, we going out of town. <laughs> You know, won't really go nowhere about about an hour, but it was good for us. You yes, know? sir. And uh, so he he blessed us tremendously. Um, very busy man in church all the time, and that's just all we knew. Yeah. And uh, the Lord blessed it to uh, become a reality for me to uh, do my talent, right? Yeah. Songs. And that's and that's mm-hmm. the thing I want to. That's the thing I really want to know about personally. Yeah. So when did you get to the place where you? It's one thing to sing, right? It's another thing to write songs. Right. Where did that come from? Uh, it's, it was always there. I, I was always uh, good at writing poems uh, from eighth, ninth grade on through. You know, I write poems and stuff, and then I turned them into a song. And um, God just blessed me to be able to put the two together. And then once I went to college, it really became a reality. Hey, you, you, you can, you can write. I wrote. I'm still holding on. In they, college? Yeah. They Wait. said they said I wouldn't make it. It came from my college experience, uh, sitting on the steps of the music building, and I, we were talking about where we were going to go with our music career. Yes, sir. And I told him I was going to do the gospel. And them guy looked at me like, man, you just wasted your time on gospel, man. As good as you can sing, you need to be in jazz, soul, opera, all, I mean, anything other than gospel music. And they said, man, that, 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 you ain't, that ain't going to be nothing right there. And they hurt my feelings. Wow! Told me that I wasn't gonna make it. I wouldn't be nothing. I'd never amount to anything. That's how this song came about from a personal experience. And uh, today, a lot of them that told me that are dead and gone. But I'm still here, still holding on, man. Yes. <laughs> still. How, how how old were you? <laughs> I was like about uh, about twenty, twenty two. Uh, just a senior in college uh, when I wrote this song, um, St. Augustine's College in Raleigh. Yes, sir. And uh, that's where the song comes from. And it comes to Two or three years later, when I finally recorded it, I got my cousin Deborah yeah. to sing it, <clears throat> and um, it became a big song. It, it was just—it wasn't all that. Yeah, actually, on the B side of the album. Wow! It, it, it was the title of the album, and then on the B side of the album, and somebody heard it and said, "Man, that's a good song." And it wasn't produced well. I, I can't hardly stand to hear it now because it's just <laughs> just poor production. Yes, sir. But a great song. Yes, sir. And uh, we went to Bobby Jones' show uh, in Nashville, Tennessee and performed it. 
And uh, next thing you know, we come back superstars. I don't know. It's just wow. like we got all that now, you know, because we was on Bobby Jones' show. Yeah, and listen, <laughs> now, but you said something that is important that I think we should um, talk about. You said great song, poor production. Yeah. And yeah. One, thing, one thing I've learned is you can have a, you can, a great song with poor production mm -hmm. would do better than... A bad song with good production. That's right, man. You got it, Doc. You know something, because it's, it's it's best to have both. You know, I mean, a, a poor produced song is it, it won't go far now like it used to. Yes, People sir. Used to overlook bad notes and bad singing. A great song, mm -hmm. but now. Uh, you can't get away with it now, Doc. That's oh, I heard there's somebody out of tune. Take it off. <laughs> get the oh, no. I don't care how good a song it is. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't having it now, Doc. <laughs> so, so I'm still holding on. Is the first song you ever wrote? No, no, no. It's, it's just first uh, hit song, you might say. Okay, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wrote a lot of songs before then. And even now, I go back and get some of that old stuff that's... Uh, and, re and revise it and mm -hmm. um, bring it back alive. And, um, you know, so God, don't throw your old stuff away. You know, don't, yeah. don't, don't throw it away. Uh, you can go back to it. And uh, because songs, you, you can't say what's a hit song. We try to name it, but uh, only God, I, I would say, makes the hits uh, something that you think is n much of nothing. Uh, as long as, if everybody's singing it, right, it's a hit. <laughs> so so I'm going I'm to ask, ask you two questions back to back. Is there was there ever a song that you thought was gonna hit and it didn't? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had many, many, many song titles uh, or the album, the album title. You know, <laughs> this is the one right here. They ain't studying that. Dog. Ain't so gonna, listen nah. now. The second question: Which what's one that we all know that you were like, oh, this all right, and then it blew up. Yeah, well, even like uh, uh, God's Grace. God's mm -hmm. Grace, I did that about four or five years ago, and it's a real big song all over the place. And it was not the title of the CD. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Favor of God mm -hmm. is on, you know, nice. <laughs> that's what you were going with. Yes, sir. And that's what they thought it was going to be, <laughs> The Favor of God, which is a good song. Yeah. But no, they like that God's Grace. And that uh, made a, <laughs> yes. a super hit out there. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so, so you've had you've had many, many hits. But I want to stay in your younger years because I'm I'm in school right now because I'm okay. learning. So you were writing, so you had the you were writing for the choir, right? And the Sunset Jubilees. But what? and then there was multiple choirs though, right? In the church? Yeah, I had multiple choirs yeah, in the church and, uh, you know, youth choir, you know, senior choir, uh, my own personal choir, you know, you know, the Barnes Gospel Singers, you might say. Yes, sir. And uh, so a um, lot of experience with, with choirs. I, and I love both. So it was hard for me to make a choice which one to do. I, I do the Sunset Evil Lands, which is quartet. Then the next album, I do the, the Red Bud Gospel Choir. Mm -hmm. And uh, hey, they, they told me I could do it. So that's what I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. Like, so once you realize, okay, I do it, I do it all, and I'm more comfortable if I can do it all. You would just like spend days. Like today, I'm gonna write a song for the choir, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, mostly when I would do an album, uh, I would spend time to do that album on the Jubilees, and I do an album on the choir, and I did that. Um, every year i mean i put out one uh, you know sometimes the song didn't get a chance to even come to its fruition before i put something else out on top of it you know but while god was dealing with me i just i just let it roll and let the, let the record company worry about that i just you know that's another thing how did you because if i'm not mistaken y'all have one record company for all of it right yes uh air records how did you pull that off I was just, I was just uh, tough enough to tell them what I wanted to do, and uh, I, w I would sort of walk out if they didn't give me what I wanted. I mean, I just like, <laughs> this is it. This is this is what we're gonna do now. And uh, they received it, and once it starts selling, they gave me the freedom mm. uh, to do what I need to do. And and it took time. And I, I tell writers now, don't don't spend your time arguing with uh, record companies. Go ahead on and let it rip. Why God has given you music, let it rip, and in time you can go back sometimes and get what you needed to have gotten on the front front time, you know, front era. God, I, I offered to um, 
to the record company, you know, I guess about 10 years in, mm-hmm. they got scared and, and, and paid me some back money, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and that was good. Yes, know? sir. And so <clears throat> God, God has a waste, but don't spend all your time arguing, whatever. If you have a gift, mm-hmm. do your thing, write, sing, whatever. And in time, but you know, do your paperwork right. But uh, your uh, monies will come. Yes, sir. Usually that's that's sort of behind later. But if you stick with God, stay in the church, man. Especially if you're doing gospel music, pay your tithes. I always tip, pay your tithes, doc. <laughs> pay your tithes, man. You know, I mean, how are you gonna yes, make sir, it otherwise? Yeah. You know, I know you need all. I know you need all your money for every little thing. You know, but pay, yes, pay your tithes, and God will bless you. God will bless you. He'll keep you. And it's more to it than money. Yeah, keep you in good health. Yes, sir. You know, you know, keep keep all your teeth. You know, you you be <laughs> singing in the mic with a snag snag a tooth. That ain't good, man. You you got you the lead, man. And, you know, okay. <laughs> so look, so look. While while we are while while we are on money, um, I do want to talk about that for a second. Like, did you have a publishing deal with Air? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Once I learned about it, once I studied it, I made sure that I got my publishing. You you keep all your writers, you share your publishing. With the uh, company. Yeah, because they got to p- put money in it too. You know, yeah. to get stuff out. So you can't have all of that. <clears throat> but you get at least 50% of it mm-hmm. and make sure you keep all of, all your writers. Keep royalties. all your writers. Right. And don't, then you share the publishing yeah, yeah, with the don't, label. Don't take my song. Now, they're still my song. I don't care what. Yeah. Unless you co-wrote the song with somebody, mm-hmm. you know, something different with that. But um, that's that's where it is. And it'll come back. Your money and your um, record be selling places you, that you'll never go. You yeah. know, I get royalties from Japan. You do. Germany, Switzerland, all of that, man. And, uh, and I, I'm not going over there. I ain't trying to go. Yeah. But send me that money, dog. <laughs> send, me that, send me my money. <laughs> Yo, so listen, how old were you when you got your first royalty check? Uh, <laughs> that's a joke, man. My first royalty check was like $4. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I should have kept it, but I was so poor. I had to cash that doc, man. <laughs> so people say I kept, you know, like it was so, so, so little to you just keep it. No, so no. You needed I, that $4. I, I, yes, so no. <laughs> I had to cash that boy. What did you spend it on? I can't even remember. I can't even remember. Bought <laughs> <laughs> <About> some gas. <laughs> how, how much was gas back then? Uh, gas was about two dollars. But you know, about two dollars a gallon. You know, it's, really. It's, it's, you know, it gotten up because you know, yeah. I, was, I was grown then. I was, you know, <laughs> but it won't like it is now. But it was still, yeah. it was still high. <laughs> so, do do you remember your first big royalty check? Uh, I do. <clears throat> I do. I remember. What song my, was it for? It was for several songs, a bunch of my music, because um, it comes in bunches, you know, not, yes. just, not just one song. But it was like maybe 17,000, something like that, my first big one. And I, I couldn't hardly believe it, man. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. <clears throat> and so uh, and that's, that's been a good while ago, good, good while ago. So, yeah. so at that point, I know you're like, yeah, this will, this will do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I still had to be disciplined. I, I couldn't get crazy with it. Yes, you know, sir. I had to be disciplined and um, be sort of secretive. You can't tell everybody, you know, everybody Smart come at, man. Will, will come at you, you know, so it's just. Everybody want to hold something, didn't yeah. <laughs> Let me <laughs> hold tell, something. Tell me about it, Doc. <laughs> tell me about it. <clears throat> yeah, we've got some uh, some, pr- some pretty good checks, man. I, I remember we, we divided up the Sunset Jubilee. We divided up. We had about, about 12000 a piece uh, from the guys. And that that's nothing compared to what some artists were getting, you know. Yeah, that, but that's that was, that's you know, big though. Yeah, man. For and each we, member. And then still have something to put in the bank. You know, we didn't we didn't <laughs> we didn't do it all. We blessed everybody in the yeah. group and still kept some, you know, so we can get our bus straight and this and that and that and the other. So we've been blessed, man. It's been blessed. It'll work for you if you know if you work it and do it do it right. And yes, sir. Stay in the studio, give them something to work with. Don't just fuss out the record company. And you ain't writing nothing. You ain't saying nothing. What you fussing about? <laughs> Give them something to work with, man. Give them That's true. Cause some art, some artists. Oh, that is good. The record company, they not magicians, right? They mm-hmm. can only market and promote what you give them. That's right. And if, if it ain't good, it don't mm-hmm. matter how much they promote. Yeah, we did an issue of time uh, for your faithfulness issue. Of That's time a big one too. With the Sunset Jubilees. That's a quartet group. 
and uh, we went to the Grammys behind the. We didn't win the Grammy. The uh, Bland Boys of Alabama. But y'all were nominated? We were nominated, yeah, right in line for it, man. And, and we, we think, of course, we think we should have won it. But we got, we did win a stellar award from it. How did you write that song? I was thinking about people like yourself working behind the scenes. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, uh, not all that, but God sees your faithfulness, that you're there. Uh, you know, you're not recognized, not always paid, mm. uh, but, but you do what you do. And uh, God says, for your faithfulness, he has a time and a place to bring you forward. You know, somebody wrote something, if you got to reach way down, yeah. he can pick you up. You yes, know, sir. He'll find you. He'll, he'll find you out of obscurity. Yes, sir. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, and really bless you in, uh, in his own time. Yes, sir. So that's what it was coming for. But then it blessed me. I was I was trying to speak for others. Yeah. That, you know, it's your time. It's your time. It's your time. Then it, it's it, your time. It was it's my, my time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Turned it back on me. So, yes, sir. Uh, a lot of, lot of money I made off that song. It's still, it's still selling. still doing good. That's one of my top five songs. Woo. Mm-hmm. Do you know? What's the other four? Uh, I'm Still Holding On, God's mm-hmm. Grace, um, Heaven on My Mind. That's a big mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. How did you write that one? Uh, just trying to stay focused, uh, that, you know, all that's going on, all that hype that you get down here is nothing if you don't make it to heaven. Yes, sir. So you keep heaven on, stay focused. I'm determined, got a made up mind. I can't stand around wasting my time. Going to keep on working for Jesus because I've got heaven, you know, talk yeah. about me, say what she said, she said. But yeah. I, I don't so get, every <clears throat> song you've ever written mm-hmm. was from a personal place? Yeah, most most of my songs are, are come from a personal uh, experience that I see. And then somebody said, well, man, you wrote that for me. Oh, okay, you, you can say that, but I really, I, mean, I, like not, <laughs> I was going through when I wrote that song. Yes, sir. And uh, really for myself, but mm-hmm. you know, you can claim it, you know. It's yes, right. sir. So it's all good. So I've just been blessed, man. I, I'm not all that. I'm not the greatest writer, not the greatest singer by far. Uh, but God blessed me and uh, I just receive it and I know how to keep it intact. In so that I won't get too big, too too grand. So what's, what's your key to staying humble? Uh, just uh, knowing that uh, you can beat me singing in a day. You can beat me, you know, all, all of that. The playing keyboards, I, I'm not all that. But it's just the grace of God that helps you to be who you are. Yes, sir. And you understand that. And you stay faithful to your calling. Study your craft. Go to church. <clears throat> yes, go to sir. Bible. I just left a Bible class. Just <laughs> go to Bible class. Go to Sunday school, man. You know, uh, do that. Do that. Yes, and make that a part of your life. Yes, sir. And be a blessing to others. Pay your tithes and um, stay with it. Take care of yourself. Go home. <laughs> go to the house. Yes, sir. <laughs> Can't hang out all night. Yes, sir. You know, uh, you know, go to the house, chill out. And sometimes it's lonely, a mm. lonely place, but it's all right. You know, let, let the Lord bless you with longevity. Yes, sir. You know, so you won't go out uh, too early. You know? Yes, sir. Yeah. What up, y'all? I'm Rajay, and I'm interrupting the pod to present an opportunity for y'all to support the brand and the fam. So do this for me. Head over to RajayXShy.com, click the merchandise tab, and grab a hoodie, t-shirt, or hat. And remember this thing. No matter what people say or think, live your life. Now back to the episode. I, it was something I wanted. Okay, I know what I want to ask you. When you get ready to write a song, do you like sit at the piano and write it? I do. Sometimes I sit there all day, ain't nothing happening. Mm-hmm. But then sometimes it's, it's a revelation. I could be riding in my car. Mm-hmm. I got to pull over and write some things down so I won't forget it because songs will leave you if you don't jot it down. You know, I got this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I got this tomorrow. I got then tomorrow comes. You don't forget everything yeah. that God gave you. So write it down. Uh, uh, record it or whatever, put it on the tape or something like that. And uh, then you keep working on it. And it's a process. Uh, some people say you write the song in one day. Sometimes it probably ain't a real good song. <laughs> you, you, you probably put a little bit more work in that than one day, Doc. You know, I can tell you you wrote it in one day, too, <laughs> when, I, when I hear it. <laughs> yeah, Spend man. some time on it. And um, I've, I've done the whole song. I've been like, Mm-mm. Wow. Tear the whole thing up and start again. Wrong key, wrong musicians, wrong yeah. something else. Just just ain't right. So uh take your time with it. You know, take your time. Don't be too big of a hairy yes, to, to put it out. So you have had like um if you had to do not a number, but uh like a just a ratio or just a statement, 
Could you say that you have written more bad songs than good? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I may have five or ten songs that I can say, that's it right there. But it can't get no better. <laughs> Not many. <laughs> really, though, really though uh, if, if you are a singer, a writer, and if you got three, four hit songs in your lifetime, you're doing real good, dog. Wow. Some, some can you know, hit after hit like a Stevie Wonder or somebody. Yes. Not many. Most people are one hit wonder. Yeah. They got one song that defines them. Mm-hmm. That one song, when you call their name, that one song. Mm-hmm. They might have two, might have three. So if you get the four, that's good. Yeah, I mean, hey. Luther, man. you passed four, though. But I, let me tell you the, the, the <laughs> thing about you that is very, very special that I, that I, once I was old enough to understand what was going on, the fact that you were writing for different genres blew my mind. Because it's like, you can write like a, I'm still holding on. Then you can write like a something inside of me. Mm-hmm. Where did the versatility come from? Just living, just living music. Uh, I like, I like country music, man. And I've got a couple. You know of what's crazy? Yeah. It is. <laughs> I mean, but listen, because when I listen to your song, okay. When I listen to your songs, it is very clear that. You know the art of gospel music, but you know the craft of songwriting outside of gospel right. music. Yeah. It is v- it's always very evident yeah. to me. Yeah. Like, you can't hold be on. in a box. You can yeah. be free and uh, try some things. I like to modulate in songs. I like different chords. But, but after all is said and done, you got to say something. Yes. Say something. With good, I like strings. Yeah, you, you know, love strings. Live strings. I mean, I just love it, man. <laughs> And I put strings on stuff that don't need no strings. <laughs> I, just, I just like it now. <laughs> and so I have to learn sometimes to break it down. You know, just don't need all that. You know, I put it in one verse, take it out of the next chorus. Yeah. You know, like that. Just do the whole song, you know. Yeah. Uh, had, had some contour in the song. Mm-hmm. So I had to learn all of that. And uh, I'm still learning. Yes, and sir. I'm still, I don't know it all. I'm still learning uh, how to um, how to bring it as as they say. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I want to talk about something. Um, let's talk about the sunsets. Mm-hmm. How did they start? They started back in the uh, early sixties, uh, mm-hmm. and it was my uncles and my father, and I was a young boy, and uh, coming along, and I was in rehearsal with them one night, and I don't know where the nerve came. <laughs> I got some nerve. A little bitty fellow about. 12, 13 years old, and telling them that was wrong. Grown <laughs> 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 me in. Now, like, do you little twerk trying to tell us that we saying wrong? <laughs> they were just as wrong as they could be, dog. I couldn't take it no more. <laughs> so, so, I don't know where the nerve came from, man. I was shaking, like, you know, like, but if y'all want it like that, I mean, hey, but that ain't right. But if y'all, hey, I mean, you know. And then they're like, you know, then let, let, how's that sound? They start asking me, you know, give my mm. advice on stuff. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. And if you know so much, how about you lead the song? And then next thing you know, I was out in front leading. And, and so was, they were just being funny. Sort of. And then <laughs> there was a Sunset Jubilee. And then five, six years later, it was Luther Barnes. And <laughs> like, how did I get out front? You know? So you uh, never intended to be no, out front? No, no. I'd never, and I'd have been, I just, I was just part of the group. But uh, because I wrote the songs and led the songs, uh, 80% of the songs, you know, so, um, and I produced the songs, I wrote the songs. What's the first Sunset song you wrote? Uh, probably a um, song called I'll Take Jesus for Mine. You don't remember that, do you? No, sir, you know I don't. Okay, all right. <laughs> but I'm going to go look it up, I- though. I'll Take Jesus for Mine. Uh-huh. Hey, it don't, it sound like crap, man. <laughs> <laughs> but what did it, you, that was with Air? Uh huh. Yeah. First. So was your dad already with Air, and then it just kind of put everybody. That's right. The whole Barnes regime was able to be under Air. That's right. We followed his footsteps and begged and <laughs> worried them to death. In fact, let me tell you a story. R- 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 rough side of the mountain. Yes, sir. And I'm still holding on. Was recorded the whole album on the same day. My dad went in. He recorded. Rough Side of the Mountain and four, five, six more songs for their album. And so quick until he had studio time left. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Dad, can, uh, 
can we use that the rest of your time? You know, we were already in Atlanta. Yeah. So I got when I go back. What, what, what studio were y'all at? It was in Doppler. Doppler, yeah. We went back that night and recorded. I'm still holding on, and because you know nobody knew nothing about. I'm still holding. Rough side of the mountain was so big. God, until it took big. four or five years later <laughs> for uh, I'm still holding on to get any any notoriety. And then it, was it the same version? Five yeah. six years later, uh-huh. the same version that Deborah did. The same <sighs> same Deborah you know, on the same day, two albums in one day. You know, but we didn't get a chance to go back and do nothing and fix nothing up. <laughs> we just had to get lucky and run through it. And uh, put it out, and um, you know, just 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 how things were back at that time, you know. So that's yeah, two two hits, uh, the same day from Barnes family. Mm. Yeah, right. So God's just been good to us, man. He just just a lot of favor, uh, all that, a lot of grace. Yes, not, sir. Not to be all that good, but God just blessed us, and uh, He saw something that we didn't see. Took a chance at it. Got a little bold. Yes, sir. I had a big afro back then, man. Hey, so, man, you had swag, <laughs> man. You still do. No, man. I, I ain't gonna put my head cap. I ain't gonna let y'all see. <laughs> ain't nothing up there, Doc. There ain't nothing up there much. <laughs> so look, I got I got a couple more. Um, well, I, it's two things I want to ask you about, but yes, I want to let me know which one came first. Did the Fall Gospel Classic come before the first Family Reunion album, or the Family Reunion reunion came first? Uh, the Fall Classic came first. Okay, tell me how in the world you came up with the idea for the Fall Gospel Classic. In what year? Well, I had to have a name, and I wanted a convention, and I, I took it after the uh, quartet convention in Birmingham with George Stewart, what he was doing. And I, I wanted to have one in North Carolina, but I didn't want it to be just quartet. I wanted it to be choirs and mm-hmm. everything, you know, so that's, that was a thought. And it started out very slow. I had Slim of the Supreme Angels, he came and preached for me three nights. Mm-hmm. And uh, very slow beginning, didn't start. What was know. the first year? First year was back in 1989. 80, 89. So it goes, it goes. You late. did the first classic in 89? Yeah. Little, little small fall gospel classic. You know. Then about five years later, it started really popping when I brought the Williams Brothers and oh, yeah. some of them, Bobby Jones and <laughs> Ty Tribbett and John P. Key started bringing some big names in. Yeah. And uh, really jumped yeah. off. By 1995 or so, it was a pretty big deal. Yes. And we did the family reunion in 97, 98. So yes, sir. It was, it was a few years later that we did the family reunion project. So were y'all already doing the Midnight Jam or y'all started doing that later? Uh, a little bit later. Yeah, a, a little bit later, we would bring in the Midnight Jam. That was a biggie. To see all, all those kids. Well, you, you, you yeah, of course, you I came to plenty of them, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. At 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night, they, they, kids all out there waiting to get in the church, man, out the, out the other service. Whose yeah. idea was that? Uh, some of our committee decided yeah. to have it, you know, because we knew the young folk like a certain genre of music <laughs> and are different from quartet and some of the older folk yeah. stuff. So let them go home, go go, go to bed, then bring, <laughs> bring the young folk in here. <laughs> And it, it, that it, was brilliant. It was great, man. It was great. Yeah. Really, really, really good. So God's been good. All I can say is yes, really, really, good, really good to us. So now I'm going to go back to the family reunion. Who came up with that idea? Uh, we we all sort of together came up with it, with the record company to put us all together uh, on the one sitting. Uh, and it was, it was two nights recording at ORC. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, the first one we did. And after we did the first one, it did so well. <clears throat> the to... first one was huge. Yeah, yeah, it was very iconic and it was very monumental. Yeah, man, I don't, I don't know how we did it. I tell you the truth, all that changing clothes, man, we changed clothes <laughs> ten times. <laughs> you know, and y'all did and, it at the OIC. I they... run out on stage still putting it up my shirt. <laughs> I ain't, you know, really trying to fake it like I was together. Like, man, I hope I got my right shoes on. <laughs> But we did it, Doc, and yeah. uh, we had a lot of people to help us backstage. A lot mm-hmm. of people, the makeup folk, and dress dressing people, and food, and yeah. some everything going on. And uh, we pulled it off, you know. Yeah. And it reminds me, like, because like one thing, another thing about you that I noticed is like, um, on like the southern gospel side of things, mm-hmm. I see a lot of the things that you do. But you're the only person that I've ever seen on our side to do it. 
Like I've seen recordings where there's a choir or people mm-hmm. standing and you got like the Gaither family That's or right. yeah. the crab. Like and then to see you do that, I'm like, <laughs> that is genius. Yeah, and to, you're favor, the only doc. one that's ever done it. A lot of favor, Doc. Because so much can go wrong on that one night. You can be hoarse, somebody gets sick, uh, some just don't the lights fall <laughs> fall fall down or <laughs> You know, the sound ain't right or something. Just messed the whole project up. <laughs> yes, so, sir. So, man, you got to do a lot of praying mm-hmm. that uh, things will hold up. People will, will come forth and be at their best, and it all comes together. And we just were fortunate. Yes. That's why I ain't trying it now because, <laughs> man, it's a lot of work. Doc. And it's so many people. Yeah. So like, when you look at the, y'all go, go check it out. The Barnes Family Reunion, one and two, they both out. But when you see all those people, it's like. Mm-hmm. So, I can't even imagine, like, What's rehearsal like? <laughs> it's, it's a little while. It's, it's a little while. But uh, just be m- meticulous and don't waste time. Yes, sir. And uh, know where you're going and, and learn how to use your, your key people. Yes, sir. Key musicians and all in, in, in place. And uh, they'll, they'll follow suit. If, you, if you're a wise leader, they, w- they will follow suit. Yes, and, sir. Um, and bless everybody. Don't, don't, don't just use folk, but, but, but bless them. Yeah. And, uh, and a lot of praying. And um, it, it, it can come together. It can All right, come you said together. you said something I want to talk about. You said not just use folk. Explain what you mean. Well, you don't pimp people. You know, you uh, make sure that you give them their credit yes. and give them some money. <laughs> you know, bless them. Bless, bless them. Yes, don't just sir. use their talent. And then like you don't know them. You know, you don't do that. Yes, sir. You, you bless them. As you are blessed, you bless them, you know. And, and um, it has been a, a blessing to me. Down through the years, I, I spent a lot of money mm-hmm. on my people. You know, I, I will bless them. Uniforms. I, man, how many uniforms have I, <laughs> have I bought? Yes, sir. For, for guys that supposed to be to buy your own uniform. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, buy your own shoes. Yeah. But here I go, <laughs> you know. Yeah. You know, but um, it's, it's been good. Yes, it's sir. Been, it's been good. What was it like or what has it been like because it's still going on? Like, once you got in, I'm going to go back to the sunsets. Once you got in the group, like you're basically like traveling with your uncles, mm-hmm. but you're leading. Yeah. How was it to be like leading your uncles? Because that's a <laughs> weird thing. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's sort of weird. <laughs> but I was, I was humble enough to still lead and still be obedient. Yes. You don't lead and be arrogant. Mm. Uh, nobody can tell you nothing, you know. So uh, it's, a, it's a good mix. And uh, I looked out for them. They looked out for me. Mm-hmm. And uh, it just sort of came together uh, like that. And I really can't tell you how. It's just the blessings of God, how God made it all come to pass. And um, I'm just grateful, man. Yes, sir. I almost can bring tears to my eyes. I love those guys. Yeah. And I was, you know, urged and, and, man, you need to put them guys down, man. Them old guys, man, you need to go for yourself, man. You need to do like the Secular guys, yeah, they like, they like, do a couple yeah, albums, then they split. Yeah, like they're just smoking around from left to yeah. right, David Ruff and left to Temptations. And, yeah, you know, do your own thing, you know. And but um, I just love them so much that I just just stick right there and still stuck right here and rock him out in North Carolina. I can't go nowhere, my folk. <laughs> I love yeah, because so because you've gotten to the place where your gift literally sustains people. Yeah, like yeah. the jo- like people have jobs because you write songs. Have you ever thought about that? I don't think about it much, but you but you <laughs> are exactly right, Doc. You are exactly right. And that's why I pray that God will hold me up. Yes, sir. Uh, keep me healthy. Keep me faithful. Keep me um, in the now. Yes, sir. So that I can uh, continue keep, keep yeah. blessing them. You know, yes, sir. That they can still keep standing, and they have gifts of their own. I don't take Absolutely. all the credit. Wonder is is amazing, amazing on her own. I ain't got nothing to do with that child. She is sing. amazing. I mean, really, Deborah, <laughs> yes. my, my daughter, yes. all they're just amazing. They, you know, they don't have to have me. Yeah. Do, but when we can come together, it makes it better. Yes, but uh, I don't, I don't try to smother them. That's good uh, stuff. And I don't try to smother their gift. Do your thing, child. Get on out yeah. there. Go for it. Yeah, that's good. Do you have you ever gotten to the place where like? Once you did start traveling, did you ever think about that writing you did when you were dreaming and putting the schedule down? All the time. 
all, all the time. I, I remember, and uh, I, I get um, chills when I see a, a cotton field. Mm. Yeah, because <laughs> I remember Doc. I remember him so vividly, and I, and I thank God for that day. It helps me to be thankful for what I do now. And mm-hmm. if you've never been there, never done things like that before, you take for granted your blessings, you know. But uh, you know, when I think back on the breakdowns on the highway, riding a van with no heat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never son. did that, did you? <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, no air condition, mm. whatever, man. And uh, time's about to go out. You know, I already knew it before you leave home. We're like, okay, hope we got a good spare. Because <laughs> <laughs> y'all still going? Yes, sir. <clears throat> still going, Doc. On, on, on faith. Yeah, but God has blessed us. He's blessed us to uh, come through. So we got a nice bus now, and we look back and say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What up, y'all? I'm Rajay, and I want to say first, thank y'all for the support. Thank y'all for the love, and thank y'all for watching and listening to this podcast. We really don't take it for granted. Hey, if y'all want to continue to support us by spending y'all money, I got a way for y'all to do that. Y'all go to RajayXShaw.com and pick up that Make It Happen hoodie today. Life be crazy, but we still got to do what? Make it happen. Gang. Are you are you still on a label now? Uh, Shinache. Okay. Yeah, Shinache. I'm with them. You know, I, I can I can do some other things. They're begging me for another release. Yes, sir. And I'm late. Should have been out last year. <clears throat> so uh, I have some choices. You know, yes, sir. So thank God for that. Don't ever burn your bridges. Yeah. Uh, if you if you leave a record company, don't cuss them out. Yeah. No, don't act ugly. You might have to go back. You know, you <laughs> might have to go back. Yes, sir. Yeah. How long? And how long? Up until now, how long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been um, almost. What's it? Eight or four. It'll be what forty years mm. in twenty four. Mm-hmm. Be forty years of full time. I left teaching school. I was teaching at Northern Nash and um, some other schools in the county, and I resigned from teaching in nineteen eighty four. So, what made you know, like, okay, I can hang this teaching up? I didn't know. I was Ooh. like, Lord, please, I hope <sighs> I'm making the right decision. I really didn't know. Um, I had some yes and some like, man, you crazy, you know. So uh, I just had to have faith in the Lord that uh, my music could hold me up and uh, provide for my family. And also, a little rough there in the beginning, man. <clears throat> a little rough, but uh, in time, God has blessed me to go to the mailbox and, uh, you know, I got a couple of chicks out there in the car right now I can show you, man. <laughs> yeah, and, I want to see them. God and, knows and, and, I do. And dance all over this place, man. <laughs> I just left the post office. But, <laughs> yes, I want to see them. <laughs> yeah, so God is good, man. Yes, God sir. God is good. But, you know, on the flip side of that, I mean, things can happen uh, as as well. So you don't, you don't get too, because, uh, you know, sickness, accidents, all kind of stuff can happen that can uh, bring you right down to, to surface, you know. So mm. you just be grateful. Thank God, but be watchful. Be yes, sir. Always prayerful. Yes, sir. On a good day, yes, sir. pray. So I'm going I'm to come to more recent times. Well, I'm going to ask you a question to get to recent times. Did you ever see yourself being a pastor? <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, no. I, uh, like, Lord, no. I mean, the same folk every Sunday. <laughs> Are they looking for a, a new word, a new rich word, uh, a new revelation every Sunday? I got the same song, still holding on. God's grace. I've been singing for years. And there were same people be like, okay, have you got anything else? <laughs> so, Lord, help me. Yeah. Help me with this pastoring thing. But it's been good. I've got some good people. I've got a good church, and um, I take nothing for them. Yeah. And uh, they allow me to grow. As I watch them grow, we're nine years old. Yeah, nine years old now, man. So yes, sir, that's good stuff, man. Yeah. God's been good. <laughs> yes, sir. So speaking of speaking of like pastoring, like and even before pastoring, like I'm sure people flock to you even before pastoring. Mm-hmm. Like, what's your response to people when they 
tell you that they were blessed by a song or however they respond. Because I know they respond in different ways. I, I just thank God for it. And it just verifies what I do. Yes, sir. You know, that's the verification. It's like, yeah, it's worth it. You know, you can bless someone through your song. Uh, they even brave enough to come to my church and sing my song <laughs> in front of my face. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, <laughs> go for it, brother. I've, man, I've heard people sing my song in churches. They didn't know it with me. They didn't know it with my song. And I, and I didn't tell them because it sounded so bad. I didn't want to even let them know that's my song. No, no, they just stop. They just stop. But it's, it's really something somewhat sort of true. And, um, but it's, it's a blessing to say, wow, this, you know, somebody got it somewhere. They're doing something with it uh, to bless somebody. They think it's good enough to, um, to sing something that I wrote. Yeah, uh, some songs I've forgotten all about. I said, oh, "Okay, yeah, I wrote that song." Yeah, but it's it's a, it's it's good. It's a good thing. You you made me think about something else too with people singing your songs. How did the Brooklyn Tabernacle thing come about? Wow, but you talking about a blessing? They uh, they called me and asked me to come up and record with them, and I was like, "The Brooklyn Tabernacle? Are you are, you, are, you, are the Brooklyn? Tab- are you just a Brooklyn Tabernacle? Are you the real the real one with all these Grammys and stuff?" I mean. <laughs> That's a similar, you know, yeah. and, and, and uh, that, that, that's, that's, uh, that's the right one. And they, they flew us up there, me and Deborah, and uh, treated us so nice. And we actually had the whole church to go there a time or two and worship with them. And uh, you're talking about singing my songs to perfection. They just let me sit out in the audience and they just serenaded me yeah, with man. my own song. Yeah. White folk. I mean, yeah, you know, man. You know, you know, all kinds of people. Yes. I just sit there and cry. Just Especially and cry. from where you come from in the cotton man. field. That has to be yes, crazy. So I mean, something. And they pay good royalties too, man. <laughs> I know they do. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> See, if you get a chance to be on one of their albums, <laughs> do it, doc. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So yeah. at the time, like from a business perspective, I'm sure you knew like how big they were. But then from just a songwriter's perspective and knowing who they are, that has to be like, wow. A big wow with a whole lot of exclamation points <laughs> behind it. And I, I'm still in awe of that even now when I go back and watch it from time to time. Yeah. We're still friends. Uh, we're still in contact with each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've had him for the Fall Classic one year. I don't, know, I don't know if you remember some years back, I had Pastor Similar to come in. Yeah. And, speak. and um, great people, man. Great. Great people. Nice, nice folk, man. Yes. Great people. You've, throughout your career, you've had the, um, you've made music and created opportunities to bring people together a lot. Like, even with the classic, people come all over the world. Like, one day, I'll tell you this. One day, I was at um, one of my friend's house. This was some, some years ago. He's a bass player. And um, we were just chilling at his mom and dad's house. And he had a old gospel roundup magazine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'm just going through the pages. And like the classic was in the top five mm-hmm. gospel conventions. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man. yeah, man. Yeah. Great. That the, the, the roundup uh, magazine. Uh, I don't think they still put it out now because of the pandemic and one thing to another. But, uh, that was like the gospel music Bible. It was, I man. Mean, you want to find out what to do, where to go, who, who's the who's and who's. Yeah. You get that roundup, man. It was it had everything in there. And I was just fortunate to be a part of that, to yes, be sir. recognized and yes, as, sir. as an artist and uh, the fall classic and all that. So uh, grateful to them for including me. Yes, sir. Yes. You are ve- like, with everything you say, your response to everything is like gratitude. Oh, yeah. Where does that come from? It comes from my mama. Mm. My mama would like to tell us, man, don't don't get the big head. Don't don't go out there feeling like you all this and that. You come back here and you going to Sunday school. Mm. You're going to Bible study. You're going to the revival. You, you know, you ain't all that. You know, I don't care what kind of degree you got, you know. And, and so and, and have respect. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Thank you. <clears throat> all of that is very important. And uh, you honor the pastor. I don't care where you go. You don't go walking up in there like you can move the offering table and all this. I got to sit up my stuff. I got to sit up my music table. <laughs> you better ask somebody. <laughs> you know, you better be respectful. Yeah. And never, never leave because you're an artist uh, in front of the word. I'm going to sing my song and I got to get up out of here. Wow. T- terrible mistake, man. 
I got to sing my song. I'm going back to the hotel. Sit your butt down here <laughs> and on the front row and listen to the word of God. Yes. Sir, with, with your grand self, <laughs> you know, if you got to nod and go to sleep, sit there you know, and respond to other folk that are singing yeah. or doing whatever. Get, get up, stand up, clap, encourage them as well. And I've seen you, you and Doc, I've seen both of y'all like sit through a concert. <laughs> it be long. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know. But it makes, at the end of the day, it makes a difference because yeah. once you get to a certain status like yourself, if you wanted to, you could act like that and people would be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's not good. Yeah. You know, stay in the back. No, no I'm, 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 <laughs> they ain't doing that. We know my turn. You know, encourage someone else. Listen to them. And actually, man, it's not bad as it used to be. Mm. It used to be some... Terrible, terrible artists on the program. Like, what in the world? <laughs> now, it's better now. Most, yeah. most of the, the, the artists that are coming through now. Yeah, most man, of them are good. They, they got it together, Doc. <laughs> you, you may not know who they are, but most of them can uh, yeah. be like, wow. You know, <laughs> and you need to tell them. Yes. You know, and tell them that. Tell them, that. encourage them, man. Tell them, y'all hold it together, man. Y'all, yes. y'all got it going on, man. And, uh. I tell them like that. I said, when y'all get to the to the Apollo Theater or whatever these big places, and I'm waving my hand, let me in. Yeah. Let, let me in the back door somewhere. You know, recognize yeah. me. Say, let, okay, let him on in. Here. <laughs> yeah, you know, because your day is coming. Yes, your day is coming. Be faithful, and uh, your time is coming. So um, continue to be faithful, man. So it's it's a lot of great artists out there now, Doc. Yes, a lot yes. of great artists. And what do you think? What do you think? Some um key things that younger artists need to know to help push the genre forward just stay true to it um don't don't be afraid of a of a simple good song you don't have to have all the jips and japs and you know funny for crazy <laughs> intro and you know just just <laughs> be real you don't have to sing all the notes on the scale you know whatever just come through it and say something that grandma can witness to, you know. Uh, don't don't know the, 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 the music of the elite. They they not they got, they could be looking for all kind of stuff. But you want to appeal to grandma, granddaddy, auntie, somebody in the hospital, somebody uh, homeless. You want to talk to them. That's that's where your hit song come from. You know, not all your chords and all your great singing, which is good to be the same great, yes. but don't just rely on that. You know, mm -hmm. it's um, <clears throat> it's it's not on your talent, Doc. It's just what comes out of your heart. A lot, a lot of singers that don't sing that well, but do real good because of what's in their heart. <clears throat> you find some singers that can do all this and all that, ain't going nowhere. Yeah, ain't going nowhere because it's, uh, it's not anointed. It's got to got to mm -hmm. have that anointing. Mm -hmm. You put that anointing with it, Doc. You can do some stuff. Yes, sir. And, and the attitude, right? Attitude, right? Character. Mm. Yeah, you're going so have you seen in your in your years have you seen like up and coming artists where like somebody is arrogant yeah uh you know i hate to say so but i'm not gonna name nobody but you're a smart uh, man i'm not gonna call your name <laughs> I, 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 I ain't talking about you man i'm just i'm just i'm just missing i'm just missing but yeah I, I see it every now and then and i'd be like you know and uh honor 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 is a is another big word honor a lot of a lot of young artists don't have honor, you know. I gotta sing and I gotta leave. Mm. There's a Swanee Quintet coming up now. I know they're a famous group, but I mean I can't stand no Swanee Quintet. S sit your butt down, Shh. listen to the Swanee Quintet. Have some honor. Yes. Buy their music. Yes. Be in your place. Bless them. They may not be the Swanee Quintet of old. They may not be the the, the great keynotes of the mighty clouds or. Uh, you know, like yes. they used to be not, you know, uh, Dorothy Norwood may have lost some of her spunk, you know, when she yes. can't do it like she used to. But you honor Dorothy Norwood. Yes. You honor Shirley Caesar. Yes. Oh, she don't even know me. She don't even like her. That, that does not matter. You honor Miss Shirley Caesar. You bless her. Yes. You want to go somewhere? Honor. Yes. A lot of a lot of young folks don't have honor. They don't yes, they don't know they don't even know what that means, you know, the how valuable that is to have honor uh, for someone that's paved the way before you. I think sometimes we feel like um talent is enough. Nah. It's good to have talent, but you gotta have more than that. 
Uh, you know, God sees talent all the time. He sees talent all the time. That does not move him. It's it's what's in your heart. Yes, sir. It's, it's how, and uh, you know, he looked at him and said, mm, okay, I'm, I'm going to bless that one right there. They, yeah. Uh-huh. They, they mean, they're not as good as that one over there, but I, I like their spirit right there. I'm going to bless that one. You, you be that person. Have you ever, have you ever um, been in a situation where you had a relationship with a younger artist or in passing ever pulled one to the side and helped them out? Oh, sure. I do it all the time. I do it you know, even now. You know, I buy their music, encourage them. I point them out, you know, uh, e- even people in the background, the, the bass player. You know, they don't get no, it's all about the lead singing. Out there. The bass player you got, that, that joker is bad. <laughs> that bass player, you know. Yes, point, sir. Point them out. Bless them, man. Let them know. Let, let them know and uh, encourage them to stick with God, stick with what, what they're doing. You know? Yes, sir. And you're able, I know you're able to recognize all of the different elements because you're a musician yourself. Mm-hmm. Do people know that? Some do, some don't. It doesn't, you know, it's not a big deal, you know. But uh, if I have to sit down and play, I, I, I can. Thank God I don't have to do that much. I got people, guys. A lot of great people that. around yeah, you. So it's all good. But uh, that's how I got started. I encourage every singer to learn how to play. For, mm, for yourself. That's interesting. Learn how to play for yourself. So how did you learn how to play? And when did you learn how to play? I learned how to play when I was five, six, seven years old. I didn't know what I was doing, but I was picking on my grandma's piano. My grandma had a piano. Uh-huh. And the uh, rest of them wanted out to go in there, in the living room where the piano was. So how you get in there? Favor. <laughs> <laughs> you done finessed your way into the yeah. piano room. Favor, yes, sir. Dog. <laughs> Luther in there on that piano. Yeah, she wasn't saying nothing. I, I, I was playing just as soft as I could, but you can't hide a piano, you know. <laughs> I don't care. That note going to sound out. But I, but I wouldn't just bang on it. Mm. I wouldn't just, you know, what, you know. I tried to make sense of the notes mm-hmm. and stuff, and she could see that. She and could so, see so it. So she allowed me to, to go in there whenever I please. You know, that's, that's how I learned. But then when I got to college, I had to unlearn what I had learned because I had learned how to play. Everything wrong. Yeah, that's right. You know, right fingering and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it was all good. Yeah. It was all good. But I learned very early on how to how to play and how to. Who were some of your, because I want to help people who, I'm going to go back to the songwriting because you one of the greatest of all time. In your process of learning how to write, what, who were some writers or artists or songs that kind of inspired you? Well, my father, for one. Um, and then I would always like people like Stevie Wonder. Uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire, you know, the crazy chords, you know, uh, OJs, yes, man, you know, Levert, yeah. man. And the you know, gospel side, the Williams Brothers, Jackson Southern Airs, people like that that I really, Mighty Clouds, Joe Jolly Gunn, yes. one of the greatest of all time. So I have a lot of heroes, man. Aretha Franklin, yeah, man, I pull her up all the time just you know uh, ain't no way you ever heard of ain't no way <laughs> yes man that's a bad song <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, forgive me gospel community <laughs> forgive me for you know but i'm just uh, hey it is what it is yeah and it, and it and it speaks to um for you so how do you through the years because i know this will help somebody how do you listen to all that incorporating in your writing and what made you sh- choose to still be faithful to God, even though you're using those influences? I don't know how to, how to explain that, but I, I believe that God owns all the music. I believe all, all music, you know, is somehow under God's anointing and uh, it's up for you to choose. I like saxophone, even though the saxophone is not a, a church instrument as they say, but Hey, I, I love it. You know, the harp, I love all of that. So um, if I get a chance to include it in my in my songs, uh, you, you do so. If they're going to enhance your song to make it uh, more beautiful, uh, enhance what you're doing. So uh, I'm not in, uh, constricted for a certain thing. I, you know, like I hear far beyond what gospel has to mm. has to say. But you know, I don't I don't want to mess mess up gospel. You got a good old drive going for quartet drive yeah let, let her rip you know yeah but when you get through with that i got something else over here that i might, <laughs> I might, I might listen to yeah you take my earphones off you might be surprised what you hear 
while I'm riding on the bus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's all good. So um, is there anything that you want to say to the gospel music community after you've done what you've done for so long? Well, uh, just, just keep it going. I mean, um, it won't stop with me. It, it, won't, it won't stop with any one artist. It will continue. So I, I, I admonish the younger artists that are coming along. Uh, keep writing. Keep being creative. Uh, stay with God. Stay with the church. You know, and really is and don't um, uh, put away or abuse or neglect. I don't know what the right word. Uh, your trials. Your, your trials is what help you to write. Help you to have a testimony. And a, a lot of singers can sing, but you're talking about some singing. When you go through something, child, that's when you're really going, you know. So it's, it's not a bad thing. And when to you, embrace you, that's the right. trials. That, yeah, embrace that, that, your trials. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's, it's for your good uh, when God brings you out to encourage and bless someone else through what you've been through, through your music. Yeah. Yeah, so just just continue on and I thank you for this opportunity man thank yes, you for sir. what you're doing uh, for this uh, opportunity to express myself and yes, all sir. I think you know wish you the very best thank you man and what you're doing yes, thank sir. you I, th- I thought it was um, extremely important for you to be on here because number one I met my wife at the Fall Gospel Classic. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, that's number one. Oh, we were wow. both like nine yeah. or so, right? <laughs> Ain't that something? Number two, when I started playing with Reverend Daughter Jim Wilson, okay, he would make us listen to Luther Bourne's record. Wow, wow. Like, do you hear that placement? Yeah. Do you see how they playing them? Brother Ricky? Yes. Yeah, yeah, man. That's how I need y'all to be. <laughs> you hear them strings? <laughs> you hear, and I'm like, Yes, sir. We hear it. That's how we get in rehearsal. I need you to play this part. And then he'll go like, he'll take us like all to one of your concerts. See? Okay. Because he's like, look, it's five keyboard players up there and three guitar (laughs) players and ain't nobody in each other way. He used to kill us with that one. And it was true. I'm like, there's a lot of people on stage and nothing is clashing. Right. Yeah, well. Thank God for for him and thank God for you. Yes, sir. And, and all that you're doing, man. You're reaching a lot of folk. Yes, sir. That uh, I'll probably never reach. So yes, uh, sir. Just continue to be faithful in what you're doing, man. I like the setup, Doc. <laughs> you, <laughs> thank you, you man. Got it going on, man. <laughs> got it going on, Doc. Yes, yeah. sir. Again, yes, sir. I appreciate you for coming. Y'all, we want to thank y'all for watching. This has been another episode of the RXS podcast with Luther Barnes. Peace. God bless you.